Imagine a telescope so powerful it can look back in time, seeing stars and galaxies billions of light years away. This is the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWS, humanity's greatest eye on the universe. Its giant golden mirror, over 6 meters wide, collects the faintest light from the farthest corners of space. JWST's superpower? It sees the universe in infrared. Energy we feel as heat, but can't see. Many of the most interesting things in space are so far away, their light is stretched into infrared. Its infrared vision is like magic glasses, letting us see through cosmic dust that blocks visible light. Before JWST, Hubble showed us beautiful images but mostly invisible and ultraviolet light. JWST was designed to go beyond Hubble's limits to answer our biggest questions. With every image JWST is rewriting our understanding of the universe. The universe is revealing its secrets, and we're finally able to listen. In 2025, astronomers announced a mind-blowing discovery. JWST had found the most distant galaxy ever seen. This tiny smudge of ancient light named MOMZ-14 traveled over 13.5 billion years to reach us. Its redshift of 14.44 means we see it as it was just 280 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was less than 2% of its current age. Finding a galaxy this old is like discovering a photograph from the dawn of a city's history. Before this, the record holder was another web discovery at 300 million years after the Big Bang. MOMZ-14 pushes our view even closer to the beginning of everything. Scientists expected the first galaxies to be small and faint, but MOMZ-14 is surprisingly bright. Its discovery challenges our old ideas about how quickly galaxies formed. Astronomers were searching an empty patch of sky hoping for faint galaxies and found MOMZ-14 shining brighter than expected. This suggests galaxy formation started earlier and happened faster than we thought. It's as if we expected a tiny village, but found a bustling town just after the land was settled. This single discovery is forcing scientists to rethink the early history of our universe. Only Webb's huge mirror and sensitive infrared eyes could spot such a faint distant signal. MOMZ-14 is more than a new record, it's a beacon from the cosmic dawn. Now, we can witness the birth of the first galaxies and begin to piece together the story of how our own Milky Way came to be. The universe's earliest chapters are finally within reach. OMZ-14 wasn't alone, Webb's observations revealed a crowded, vibrant early universe. In just a couple of years, JWS found over 100 galaxies from the universe's first 500 million years, far more than anyone predicted. Old models suggested this era should be sparse, with only a few faint proto-galaxies. Instead the cosmic dawn was a busy nursery, full of bright young galaxies. The standard bottom-up theory said small clumps merge slowly to form galaxies over billions of years. But Webb shows large bright galaxies formed much faster, like planting a seed and finding a full-grown tree overnight. Scientists are now exploring new ideas. Maybe the first stars were much more massive and short-lived or dark matter clumped more efficiently. These discoveries change our picture of the cosmic timeline. If galaxies formed faster, the universe became complex much earlier maybe even allowing planets and life to emerge sooner. JWST isn't just taking pictures, it's rewriting the universe's first chapter. The early universe was in a hurry, building star cities in a brilliant flash of creativity. Our understanding of cosmic history is being transformed. The universe's beginnings are far more dynamic than we ever imagined. Black holes are the universe's most mysterious monsters, regions where gravity is so strong not even light escapes. Supermassive black holes sit at the center of most galaxies, including our own. When a star wanders too close, the black hole rips it apart in a tidal disruption event, or TDE, releasing a huge flash of energy. Until now, astronomers could only spot these events in clean galaxies, where dust didn't block the light. But many galaxies are shrouded in thick dust, hiding these cosmic feasts. In August 2025, JWS's infrared vision changed everything. Scientists used Webb to peer through the dust and found the hidden glow of TDEs for the first time. Instead of looking for X-ray flashes, they detected the warm infrared echo from dust heated by the event. This proved that black holes are feasting on stars in dusty galaxies, events far more common than we realized. It's like discovering thousands of streetlights glowing in a foggy city, invisible until now. Webb's discovery gives us a much more complete picture of how black holes and galaxies grow together. The hidden drama of the universe is finally coming into view. Go we'll understand this breakthrough, think about how light travels through space. When a star is torn apart by a black hole, 
It creates a brilliant flare of X-rays and ultraviolet light. In dusty galaxies this high-energy light is absorbed by clouds of dust, never reaching us. But the dust doesn't just block the light, it absorbs the energy and heats up, glowing in infrared. JWST was built to detect this faint heat from across the universe. Astronomers used Webb to look for the diffuse warm glow of dust clouds hiding TDEs. They also used spectroscopy to identify the chemical fingerprints of superheated atoms, a smoking gun for black hole feasts. This ability to see the infrared echo is a game changer. Now we can study TDEs in all types of galaxies, not just the clean ones. This helps us understand how supermassive black holes grow, by eating stars, gas, or merging with others. Webb has given us a new sense, revealing the hidden, violent life of the universe, the invisible is now visible. Stars, like our sun, are born, live, and die. When sun-like stars die, they swell into red giants and shed their outer layers, creating beautiful planetary nebulae. One mysterious example is NGC 6072, about 8,000 light-years away. Older images showed a blurry blob but astronomers suspected a hidden story, maybe a companion star shaping its strange form. In July 2025, JWS revealed NGC 6072 in stunning detail, a complex multi-layered nebula with jets of gas shooting in different directions. The nebula's structure was the strongest evidence yet for a hidden companion star. Webb's infrared cameras traced hot gas near the center and faint rings of cooler dust extending far out. These rings are like ripples in a pond marking episodes of mass loss separated by thousands of years. The complexity of NGC 6072 as revealed by Webb confirmed that a simple single star death couldn't explain what we see. There had to be another actor on this cosmic stage. JWST's vision is helping us decode the final beautiful moments of a star's life. The universe's artistry is more intricate than we ever knew. The new images of NGC 6072 are a cosmic detective story. Its messy, asymmetrical shape points to a hidden companion star. As the dying star swells the companion's gravity pulls gas into a swirling disk, channeling material into powerful jets. These jets carve the nebula's butterfly wing shapes. The companion's orbit can wobble, causing the jets to shift direction and create multiple lobes. Faint rings seen by Webb record the history of mass loss, like tree rings marking time. These rings may form as the companion's orbit brings it closer, pulling off more material or from the dying star's own pulsations. Likely both processes work together, sculpting the nebula's beauty. Webb's detailed observations will help astronomers unravel this stellar dance. We're witnessing the final dramatic act of a star's life. After the Big Bang, only hydrogen, helium, and a trace of lithium existed. All heavier elements like carbon and oxygen were forged in stars and spread when those stars died. A key question, how quickly did this chemical enrichment begin? Webb's analysis of MOM-Z14's light revealed carbon and nitrogen just 280 million years after the Big Bang. This means at least one generation of stars had already lived and died, enriching the galaxy. The cosmic clock of chemical complexity started ticking much earlier than we thought. The early universe was dynamic with massive, short-lived stars creating the building blocks for life. If MOM-Z14 has carbon, even older pristine galaxies must be out there, waiting to be found. The discovery is like finding a footprint on a path, proving the first stars walked there before. With JWS, we're following that path back to the very beginning. JWST's discoveries aren't just for astronomers, they change how we see ourselves. Finding galaxies like MOMZ14 pushes our story back to the universe's earliest days. The processes that built those galaxies also built our Milky Way, our Sun, and our Earth. Seeing black holes feasting in dusty galaxies reminds us the universe is dynamic and sometimes violent. The beautiful death of a star in NGC 6072 shows how stars enrich the cosmos with elements for new worlds. We are all made of stardust. These discoveries inspire us and push the boundaries of human knowledge. Building JWS required global collaboration, a testament to what we can achieve together. Every new image fuels curiosity and encourages the next generation of explorers. Looking out into the universe is also a way of looking back at ourselves. It gives us perspective and connects us through wonder. The story of the universe is our story, JWS is our window to the stars and our place among them.